see for example once you are complete the your uh, test right hmm. okay so we need to prepare the report actually before preparing report you should analyze the results okay like come to here and what are the star six we got and uh, major thing we need to concentrate from the like each and every transaction as per our sla we are meeting or that you need to check so some companies will follow the average is the sla some companies will follow the 90 percentage and some companies will follow the 99 percentage also so means so average nothing but for example you are executing 50 users so 50 users um, select a product transaction average response time it is happened from the 0 0.15 second so maybe if you consider for the 90 percentage so 95 percent of the transactions are the 50 users will be reached from the 0 0.164 second so based on for the companies right they will be concentrate from the average also they will take as a sla otherwise 90 percent is 99 also so 99 means you can go here and we can just click here and we need to give for the 99 then click on okay then we are able to see the 99 percentage results also we can see here So now we can see this. What happened? Why this coming? Okay. So you can observe 99 percentage also we got. So if it is a 99 percentage also, actually our SL will be two seconds. Then you need to okay, each and every transaction, 99 percentage also, it is a more than two second or not, you need to understand. Okay, once, see, for example, we are observed that average and 99 percentage also within the response time. Then what we need to do means we need to prepare the report. So we can go to the reports and uh, report template and uh, can just click on generate report. So your uh, entire report will be is a, okay, it will come. So you should wait for a few minutes. So it is a uh, preparing for the report. See, this is the report. So in this report, we have the all details will be there clearly. So what are the scenarios you are executed and what is the maximum users? Average it's how many happen, total is and total pass transaction per second, how many? And uh, same to the, we can see the here uh, running user and total graphs. And we can see the each and everything performance overview like total pass transaction, how many completed. If you have any prevail transaction, transaction rate, if it is a success rate, it is 100% or so if you are error, sorry, it is a decrease for the your success rate. And we can see the STP response summary. 200, 302. 200 means we know, right? Successfully received and successfully, that is the 200. 302 means it's a redirection. Okay, 302 is not error, okay? So going to the transaction summary, this is the important. So we need to, so these are the transactions. So you need to understand that like each and every transaction we are getting from the or not, you need to analyze from the here. And after that, maybe you are resume one of the transaction, it is happened for the four second mechanism. Then why it is happen if you want means here also we can drill down like varash to URLs. Like this particular, uh, uh, like pestor uh, perform.com action, catalog action. So in this transaction, only it is taking worst URL. So you can observe also, we can, here we can see the, and uh, you can see the minimum maximum also, it is more than one second, it is showing. So miss, okay, this is the taking high response time. You need to inform to the, your developer, okay. 
this URL it's taking or is to URL actually we are observed that it's taking high response time could you please look on this issue then they will do for the their side analysis and they will give for the resolution to for us okay okay and whereas to urls again we can see the here also and uh, most resource consuming urls so most resource consuming url nothing but cp utilization and memory utilization which url is uh, taking high so for example your observe cp is uh, taking from the 99 percent uh, like 80 percent is more there so you need to like confirm to the team okay this particular url is uh, taking from the more consumption so for you need to give for the this kind of uh, help to the develop team then they will fix those issues and we can go to the down and most resource consuming url and we can see the largest url average kilobytes which url is taking for the high kilobytes we can see from the here also so this all will be like uh, we need to resolve the issue point of view we can use this all and uh, so this is just a running user graph running user nothing but how the running users ramp up and how the steady state nothing but duration how the ramp down just it will show for that results here and if you go from here it per second so how the it's is going you can observe here like it's is going like this it is went from the like this and uh, throughput we can see the next uh, will be throughput see throughput and uh, so this is the report so if you send this report who are good for the performance testing right they will understand okay each and every point wise but you are sending this report to the client he don't know for the performance testing then what will happen he will be don't know okay what is this results really don't know so that is why we need to give for the clearly so we need to prepare the one document like we can go to the excel okay okay we can go to the any spreadsheet okay so i am opening for the new excel so for here i am prepare the report so how to we can prepare means first thing will be we need to give from the like uh, this details is the very important for us so workload characteristics and assign to the so for here if you want to here be unable to copyright you can save this otherwise you can go to the summary report so using for the summary report also you can copy paste it because we need from the this only right mm, transaction response times this thing right so just you can copy this so just you can copy this and paste from the your notepad uh, uh, like excel so just you can mention as a transaction response time graph just you can merge and give it as a merge center so transactions transaction response time So now we can see the like we are uh, done right. So now just so now we can observe uh, like each and every transaction we got and uh, we are providing this. And apart from this, right, we need to provide from the like we don't have any failures, right? Stop, we don't have. So we can remove. We have anything you can give. Okay. Uh, just we can remove this too delete now we need to add for the one more column sla so our sla will be for example two second assume so each every transaction will be we need to give it as a two second so if you go here right so we can Concentrated as a average response time is our right. Okay. So now you can observe 
So average response time. So any one of the transaction is more than two seconds. No, sir. No, so, no. No, right. So means your hmm. results will be good. So just you need to indicate from the like, for example, green color. So it is a green indicate from the your results will be good. Maybe you can assume that for this is happen from the two second assume. So just we need to indicate from the red color. Then who's uh, like uh, don't have performance testing knowledge also. Okay, you can observe. Okay, this transaction is actually a cell is a two second, but this happened from the more than that. So like that, we need to give from the background colors for this. Okay. So we need to give from the this transaction names. Apart from this red, we need to give from the okay. Uh, so we can give from the very clearly for this. Okay. Now we need to mention from the apart from this, we can go to the results. Okay, we'll go to the here and we can save this report. So we have the different formats also will be there. You can, uh, which format you want, you can take that. For example, PDF you want for the HTML. So which format we want, we can import from this. So if you just click on this and give for the your report name. So I'm doing for the page store document, right? Just a page store results. See the document is created. We go here and we can see the uh, page store document here store results see if you open this right okay so just i'm opening from the Okay, now, now you can see all results is came, right? So we need to mention this is also important for us. So we can take from the this report also, okay? Just you can copy this. Okay, for this, I'm able to copy in this. So. We can create a CSV data. Okay. What is the date? Just I will give for the date. Here is seven. So now you can observe all results will be this came as a Excel sheet. So we need to take from the, like uh, this statistics, what, how, what, uh, what we need, right? See, for example, we need from the, this one, like maximum running user, this is also important for us. So just copy this and go to the, our Excel sheet already we use it, right? So go to the Excel sheet. So here, uh, you can just copy paste from here. Okay, in second row. Okay, insert the copy cells.
this time entering for the insert of So now just we can copy the results here. Uh, again, we'll go to the uh, last Excel, right? We are created that Excel too. You can copy from there. And uh, now we can go to the, so just we can give it as a statistics. So this is the uh, important for us uh, because you need to prepare the report like this because we can send this entire document, right? They will be don't know from the, like all results. So that is the way we need to prepare for the, as per our continent, we can prepare like this. So now we are given from the, this report, like how many users are executed in the, like uh, can give for the duration also, you can give like uh, uh, test to duration also important, test to duration, like what time to what time we are executed. You can give the that, and we can provide these details and after that transaction details and uh, after that we need to prepare from the like uh, for example if you go here so we need to copy paste from the our uh, like uh, this graphs also what are the graphs will be need means only this graphs will be we need so just uh, running user graph and uh, it, per, it per second throughput we need. So those gaps, you can copy paste it from the there. So like this, you can prepare and uh, we need to prepare for the one more thing else important, CPU and memory utilization. Okay. Okay. So now we need to give from the, for example, app server zero one, and we have the, for example, four servers we have, you can assume. So app zero two and app zero three and app zero four. So we need to give from the, uh, like CP utilization. So minimum and uh, maximum and average and maximum and maximum. So means we can take from this results from the any one of the, like uh, I told as a performance, right? Performance side scope, app dynamic dynamics. We can go there and do how much some minimum is a 24 and average your observer is a 21 and maximum it went from the 40 also, okay? And this one is a 32. And this is for the some 29 and maximum it went from the 54 also. Okay, so 21 and uh, average is 18 and it is maximum went from the 34. So we need to take from this rip, uh, this results from the some uh, like going to the our uh, uh, monitoring tools and we need to get this statistics from there. Okay, so after that we can so we need to provide these details and along with these details you need to copy paste from the this uh, like it per second throughput uh, all graphs you need to give if you provided this all right you can send this report to the our uh, team or client then you, you don't know for because if you go this document right we can go this document in this document we have a lot of things will be there Client will be don't know performance testing. So if you provide this entire document, what is this, where, what can I actually, I can observe, he don't know. So that is why if you send this document, only who are good performance testing, then they will understand from the entire things. But that is why we need to prepare for the one simple report. Just we need to mention from the star six, like uh, what is the test duration? What is the maximum running users? What is the average it's happened total? It's a total positive transaction, fail transaction, and the transactions, and minimum average max. If it's any transaction is more than, as per our SLA, we need to confirm, and uh, CPU memory utilization also we need to confirm. 
for example cpu also it is happen from the 82 so it is a more than from the actually it is a up to 80 percent is fine it is more than that means this is also we can indicate from the team okay this particular app 0 to server it is a more than 82 percentage so we need to increase from the cpu memory utilization so we need to uh, send from the this sample document to the our client is clear hello yes sir okay then good so uh, yes, so uh, now maybe you are thinking about that this transaction is more than that so if you send this report to the client he will accept no no right so means we no. need to do redo the test before doing for the redo you need to identify the where is the issue where is the issue like uh, it could be like uh, we have the dig the issue client side start six client state star six okay okay client state star six we have the and second we need to decrease with the server side. Now, application side statistics and third one web base diagnostics so and fifth one database so now you can observe so means if you are getting for the any transaction response time, it is uh, more than SLA. More than SLA. So we need to start from the client state star six. So client state star six, nothing but we can go to the our right uh, here. Okay, we'll go to the client state star six, nothing but bit per second and uh, this graphs running users and it per second throughput and transaction summary so average transaction response time so these are will be client set statistics so how you can identify this means we can merging the graphs we need to identify that okay it is could issue could be there not there and because of this issue, it is a, some application server issue or it is a web server issue or it is a application issue, we need to know. So just to go to here. So we can merge the graph and you want to merge with the actually it per second with throughput I'm merging. So just click on OK. So you can observe these two graphs will be merged successfully. If you observe this, it per second throughput graph will be uh, like it is a inverse proportional or direct proportional. It is a direct proportional, right? Because it's merged with the same way you can observe. So means there is no issue with the it per second throughput and you can uh, merge with the throughput Merge graph with throughput and assume to the you can take from the okay uh, response time graph so you can match this these two graphs is a direct professional inverse professional so in client say star six by merging the graphs all graphs will be direct proportional only only throughput and response time could be inverse proportional so means you can merge the graph okay where could be the problem like it per second throughput you merged so there is no issue 
then so now server side static server side nothing but cpu and memory so we can go to the particular uh, uh, what is that any one of the monitoring tool cpu memory it is crossing more than 80 percentage or not you need to observe if it is crossing more than 80 percentage then it is would be issue then you need to write from the mail from particular infrastructure team so we are executed for the least many number of users we are observed that cpu utilization is crossing for the more than 80 percent could you please increase for the cpu so they will increase the cpu then you are able to see the like uh, cpu utilization memory utilization happening or not so after that again you can execute rerun and after that you are observed that your cpu utilization memory is not crossing for the more than 30 percent then your results will be good like your response time will be all are in within the sla then this report you can send to the your okay client or we can send from them okay so now second is the web page dynamics web page dynamics means server or network issue so means we can drill down the application whether could be it is a server issue network issue we can see how we can see means using for the uh, time taken buffer graph will be there time taken buffer graph will be there we can call it as a tpg time taken buffer graph so using this buffer graph we can identify that okay it is a network issue server issue so if it's a time taken buffer graph is a uh, high so we can consider as a it is a server issue. Maybe it is a time taken buffer graph is low. Then it is a network issue. So like this, we can drill down the application. We need to identify the add this is the way. And I same to the application side star six. Application side nothing but we need to check with the code level things. Code level things like say so any class, any class object or code. taking higher response time. So means using this application set static, we can drill down the like code level also. How do we can take from the code level means we can take from the heap dump and uh, using the heap dump, we can take that heap dump and after that, this heap dump we can using for the heap analyzer tool, we can analyze there we can see the like any class is taking high response time or any object it is taking high response time. So any code it is taking high response time. So we need to dig the issue and we need to resolve that issue in the where and database side. Database side, for example, you are logging doing. So here in the login, when you are searching with the username and password, right? It's going to the password. It's going to the DB. DB nothing but database. DB. So what will happen? It is going to the username password. It is going to the database and it will search for the username Jojo bin. So it's the searching and is giving for the response also. Sometimes it's taking for the high response time. So miss this particular login query so taking high response time we need to give from the database team so this all issues you need to identify only but we are not resolve anything so the particular team will be there so server side is for example client side stars six nothing but some server team will be there they will resolve server side stars six will be there we have infrastructure team will be there they will resolve for the cpu memory will be they will increase web page dynamics and application side will be our developers will be there if you identify that okay this class is taking high response time could you please analyze from the, your side then they will look on that and uh, 
their side they change for the code level settings like they return from the very consumption so they will change right from the easy way then we are again we can do for the one more kind of testing and after test went to the results good then we can send the report to the this report so when this is happen miss if you not meet the sla then only we can go with the these steps it's clear everyone hello Oh, clear, clear, sir. Okay, then good, good. Yes, sir. So now uh, we can explain for the these things like we have the this is the create new analysis. We can click on that, and this is the open existing, and this is for the cross results. Like we want to two results will be there. If you want to check from the cross, then you can click on that. And this is the save current results. You can just click on this. It is saved from the your current results. And you can give for the name and you can click on save. It will save. And you can observe this is the HTML report. Directly, if you click on this, directly HTML report is generated. And this is the view runtime settings. Like for this application, what are the runtime settings you are even? You can click on that. It will open the view runtime settings. Okay, so again, we have the this is the set global filter. So already I told right, we want to for the what are the transactions you want, you can check that. And if you want to really, you can give for the equal. If you don't want, you can give from the this not equal. And transaction response time also you can hear. And here seen our elapsed time. And uh, this is the just filtering point of you can use. This is for the Kangar SLA. So you want to configure SLA, you can click on service level and we can do from the here. Maybe if you miss from the controller, so we can do from here also we can do. That is the service level agreement. This is the analyze the transaction. This is the grand validity. So grand validity, nothing but it is a saturation point. You can observe figure for the 60, click on OK. You can observe. So in between graph to graph, some gap is came so that gap is saturation point we can call 